In this video, we are gonna learn the connection breath, the best core and pelvic floor exercise for pregnancy and postpartum, and the very first skill I teach all of my one-on-one -on -one clients. I'm Laura Jawad, I'm a pregnancy and postpartum personal trainer, and I am passionate about helping people stay active during pregnancy and achieve their strongest postpartum recovery. We're gonna start by finding a stacked alignment between the rib cage and the pelvis. The stacked alignment between the rib cage and the pelvis helps to optimize the connection between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor. And that is the foundation of good core strength and function. A stacked alignment occurs when the rib cage and pelvis exist in their horizontal planes and they're stacked right above or below one another. So from the side, a stacked alignment happens when ears, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles are all roughly in a line. In this posture, the rib cage and the pelvis are stacked one on top of another. This is our stacked alignment. Frequently in postpartum, we will see one of two postures. We will see a hyperextended posture where the rib cage and the pelvis flare open, or we'll see more of a tucked posture where the pelvis tucks under and the rib cage um, comes forward. So you can see if we use our yoga blocks as our rib cage and pelvis, this is a stacked alignment. This is flared. This is, here is a little tucked. So we're looking for the stack right here. To find that stacked alignment, I'm going to have you come to a seat. I like to use a stability ball if you have one, but you could also do this on any kind of firm chair. Um, a bench, a dining room chair, something where you can really feel your sit bones grounded into that surface. So come to a seat and then I'm going to have, and feet planted firmly on the ground, and I'm going to have you rock your pelvis forward and tuck your pelvis under. I want you to go back and forth a couple of times exploring your pelvis's <laughs> range of motion. And then I want you to find something that feels like it's right in the middle. And in this middle posture, we call this your neutral posture. If you wiggle around a little bit, you should feel your sit bones grounded into the surface that you're sitting on, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with the rib cage. Julie Weeb is a physical therapist who has an analogy that I really love. She thinks of the rib cage as a bell. And when the rib cage is flared up, your bell is rung up. And when you're hunched over, your bell is rung down. And she likes to find a quiet bell, okay? So you can do the same thing we did with the pelvis. You can ring your bell up, you can ring your bell down, and you can find something in the middle. And when you have that nice neutral rib cage and nice neutral pelvis, you have found your stack. And we are gonna use this as the starting point for all of our breathing exercises. From your stacked alignment, I want you to put your hands on the side of your rib cage, lower ribs, so just below bra line. And here I'm going to have you take an inhale into your rib cage, letting your rib cage expand 360 degrees. Keep taking a couple of breaths, and as you do that, that inhale should push your hands apart, and on exhale, those hands should come closer together. Things we're looking for here, you wanna keep your shoulders down. So we don't wanna have breathing into the upper chest and, and um, shoulders. We want it all coming out of the rib cage. Inhaling, hands push apart, exhale completely. Hands come back together. Now, as you exhale, I want you to think about blowing out birthday candles. And as you blow out those candles, I want you to blow out all of your air. You should feel your deep abs kick on, all right? This deepest layer of abs contracts your abdominal muscles towards your spine, so you'll feel almost like a tightening of your waistline as you exhale. As you inhale, let that relax and release.
And now if you have great body awareness, you might notice that as you exhale out all that air, as you get that deep abdominal contraction, you might feel a little lift or contraction through your pelvic floor. If you're not noticing that, don't worry about it. But if you're not noticing it, as you exhale, I want you to give a little gentle lift to the pelvic floor muscles. So you might think of that as a Kegel. So on inhale, we're letting the belly and pelvic floor relax. And then on exhale, gently lift the pelvic floor, blow out all your air. Inhale, exhale, gentle pelvic floor lift. Okay, so that is the basics of the connection breath. In pregnancy or postpartum, I recommend practicing this instead of Kegels unless a medical provider, specifically a pelvic floor physical therapist, has advised you that you would benefit from Kegels. The benefit of the connection breath is it puts your um, pelvic floor through the full range of motion and it practices that coordination between the pelvic floor, the diaphragm, and the deep abdominals. Super valuable. If you have a hard time feeling the connection between all these muscles in the seated exercise, one, keep at it. Sometimes it's a little bit tough the first time you try it. It takes a little bit of time to build that mind-body awareness and really find those muscles. So try this more than once. Two, if you really aren't finding it in the seated position, you can do this same exercise lying on your back with your knees bent, starting with the same steps finding that nice stack between the rib cage and the pelvis, starting with the diaphragmatic inhale, exhaling like you're blowing out candles, gentle pelvic floor lift on exhale. On inhale, everything relaxes and release. No matter what position you're performing the connection breath in, the steps are exactly the same. If you would like a deeper dive into the connection breath, I've created a free resource for you. You can go to my website and I'll link it in the caption below download the no BS guide to a stronger, drier pregnancy and postpartum. And I'll walk you through the connection breath step by step, and you'll get access to all of my favorite cues for the diaphragm, pelvic floor, and connection breath. And before you go, if you could like, share, or spread the word about this video, I would appreciate it. Good luck.